Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Hi, I am Apostle Nathaniel Rainey of Jarvis Tabernacle Worship Center, and I want to just greet you in divine love and tell you, listen, God has a miracle for you that you won't even have room enough to receive. Listen, I'm getting ready to bring you into a message where God says, listen, the reason why the kingdom of hell is so much against my people is because he, it wants to disappoint them. It wants to dismay them simply because the kingdom of hell knows that all of God's children have been pre-marked and post-dated. I said all of God's children have been pre-marked and post-dated. And this is what the Lord says. The revelation behind it is any check that has been post-dated cannot be canceled unless it be canceled by its own owner. Listen, I don't know where you are in your life, but I want you to know, don't you worry. Because God says, listen, Jeremiah, before I formed you in the belly, he says, I knew you. He said, and I ordained you a prophet. God says, before you were ever in existence, he says, I pre-marked you and I post-dated you. And so I just want you to follow us as we go into this message considered or titled, watch this, pre-marked and post-dated. Start at verse 4. Pre-marked Post-dated. It means that something was done before I even got here. It means that I got something on me that singles me out. Young people, y'all follow me, huh? Everybody say, I'm pre-marked. And I'm post-dated. The Bible says this, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 1, it says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I found thee in the belly. Before I found thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest, for out of the womb I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Let's go to the next one. Then said I, our Lord God, behold, now wait a minute. I cannot speak, for I am a child. I'm a, I'm a babe in Christ. I, I can't do the stuff that these people do, and I, I, I can't pray like those people pray. I, I can't get the revelation like Pastor get the all these other people, I'm, I'm a baby. I'm, I'm, he said, I'm a baby. I, I can't speak. Next one. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Keep going. He says, Be not afraid of their faces. Hallelujah. For I am with thee. Watch this. Look what he does. He gives him a reason. He said, this is why I'm with you. To deliver you. Said the Lord. Go to the next one. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. The Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Keep going for me. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms. Well, yeah, y'all look at that. I have set thee this day over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to play. I won't go back to verse 5. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Wait, wait a minute. You, you said, Before you formed me in the belly, you knew me. He said, Before I formed thee in the belly, church, church, get this. Because I've been telling you for the longest, you 
better start looking beyond this natural stuff. My pastor don't have time no more because I'm, every time I go in his presence, I see something different. Listen, he said, before you were formed, I, Sister Logan, watch that. He says, I knew thee. Can I teach you just for a minute and I'm going to preach a promise you. Three months. Post. The word pre means, watch this, it means before, listen to this, in time, in your rank, in your order, and in your position. So when you see the word pre, it means before. He tells everybody, listen, before, before. He says, in time, before time, before rank, before order, before there was ever a position. He said, I knew. Because that's how infinite he is. He says, I knew you before I ever created you. Watch this. John got a revelation of that pre thing. And John says, you know what? I realized something in chapter one. He says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And he says, without him was not anything made that was made. In essence, John says, before there was an existence, God existed. When you look at the word mark, the reason why we say he says we are pre-marked is because when you look at the word mark, number one, the word mark means an area on a surface caused by damage. Everybody say it's an area on the surface caused by damage. Y'all got that? Isaiah caught a revelation of that and said, you know what? But he was wounded. For my transgressions, and he was bruised for my iniquities. The just happened of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes, because of the damage. He says, because of the damage, he says, we are healed. Don't fall asleep on me. Go with me. Go with me right quick. But the enemy don't want you to hear this. Listen to this. Healed in the Hebrew is the word Rapha. That's why he's Jehovah Rapha. It means to mend, watch this, y'all catch this. It means to mend by stitch. Watch this here. So watch this. Because of his damages, his damages, his bruises caused me to have stitches. Listen to this. What it literally means that because he was wounded, because he received damage, I received the stitches. But guess what? Guess why I got the stitches? So that it can stitch me to him. And that's why he said, he who I hold upon my hand, the devil in hell can't pluck him out because he stitched to me. Y'all don't catch that thing. That's why you can say I'm wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in him because I'm stitched to him. When he died, the damage caused me to get stitches. Number one, the damage simply means an area of surface caused by damage. Number two, watch this. The mark means it's a symbol made as an indication or record of something. John caught that revelation and he said this in John chapter 1 verse 12. He said, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. John says, watch this, he literally says, as an indication or a symbol that we are, or we became power, that we literally received the power of God. He says, we, it is record that we, we received the power of him because we believed on his name. Everybody says, symbol of indication and a record. Watch this. The third thing it means, the word mark means, it literally means a word or symbol typically for identification. 
Paul called a revelation of that, and he said in Romans 8 and 16, he says, the spirit itself bearing witness with our spirits that we are the children of God. Because when you look at the word pre mark it meant that we were pre-tagged before we were ever in existence. And then we say, watch this, post-dated. Y'all catch this. Post-dated means to occur later than and then follow in time. The word occur means it's going to transpire, it's going to materialize, is going to arise and it's going to prevail. Right. The word postdated, when you look at the word prevail, it means to prove more powerful than opposing forces and to be victorious regardless of the circumstance. And so God tells Jeremiah, he says, listen, before, watch this, he says, before I formed thee in the belly. He says, I knew thee. And some of you ought to be excited about that because that simply meant that he knew what I would do before I got here. It meant that he had some kind of insight about me that I didn't know about myself. And that's why I don't get in bondage when I do something that make me feel bad about myself. I stretch my hands to thee for my help because there's no other help I know because he's the one who knows about me. How do you know he knows about you? Because he is what is called a manufacturer. He manufactured me. He knows everything about me because he says that before I formed thee in the belly, Jeremiah, he says, I had a perception, I had inclination about you. I had literally knowledge concerning who you would be, where you would mess up, what time you would mess up, how you would do it, because I'm infinite, intelligent, and there's nothing that goes beyond my mind. I know it before it happened, because by the time I speak it, I'm in eternity to catch it. He says, I'm the pitcher and the catcher. So watch this, he says, listen, he said, before I formed thee, he says, I knew thee. Now listen to this, the word form in the Hebrew is the word yasto. It means, watch this, it means to mold or to press. Look what he said. He said, before I molded and pressed you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the belly, he said, I knew you. And that's why he laid circumstances shouldn't be no problem for you. Because you've been pressed before you came out the womb. Y'all gonna catch that later. He said, I own you, I pressed you while you were in the belly. I pressed you in there. So when you come out, that shouldn't be no pressure that should make you do something you shouldn't be doing. Because you know what pressure feels like. Cut your name and say, that's why I can handle it because I'm a born to handle it. Yeah, yeah. Y'all ready to go deep? He says, mama, he says, I pre mark you and I post dated you. Hmm. And he tells Jeremiah, he says, before I knew you, he, he says, I, he said, before I formed you, I knew you in the belly. You know I had to stop right there because I seen that word formed before. I seen it, man. And I started thinking, where did I see it before? You know where I seen it at, Karen? I seen it right around Genesis. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, chapter yeah. one. I saw it around, not that Genesis chapter 1, I seen it around Genesis chapter 2. Don't go there yet. Because in Genesis chapter 1, y'all can go there, come on. Because y'all Bible church, I like this church. Yes, sir. You're a Bible church. Go to Genesis chapter 1 for me, Jerry. Genesis chapter 1. I'm going to have to find it, though. I'm going to get to the part where he start creating stuff. Because I'm going to show y'all something. He does something, and this is the reason why 
This is not just for Jeremiah, but it's for you too. The Bible says, keep going. You got to go all the way down to Proverbs verse. Let me see your Bible. Go to 21 here. Go to 21. And God created brick wells and every living creature. He started creating everything. Go to verse 20, 22. Verse 22. And God blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply. He said that to the who? To the animals. All right. Keep going, brother. Uh, and the evening and the morning were the fifth day. We don't want the fifth day. Let's go to the sixth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth the every living creature. So they brought all of that stuff together. Everybody say, the creature was created first. The created first. Keep going. Because I want you to get that too. And God made the beast. Keep going. Next. And God said, let us make man in our own image. After our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth. I want you to read it like Pastor be reading. Watch this. And over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. All right, go to verse 27. So God created man. Stop, go back to verse 26 because I want them to see this. He gives them all of this before he even creates them in verse 27. Go ahead, go to verse 27. And then he creates man afterwards. Before he creates man, y'all watch this. Before he creates him, he gives him power before he's ever even thought of it. In other words, he gives him purpose before he, y'all not hear it Listen, he gives him power before he's ever created. Then mark what God does. Then the Bible says, and he created male, he created he, him, male and female, he created them. Go to chapter 2. Start that verse 1. Watch this. Watch this. Chapter 2, verse 1. The Bible says, And thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. Y'all know what they were talking about? They were literally talking about the host that was in heaven. So the man that received all that power, he wasn't even on earth yet. How you know that, Pastor Brandon? Verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made and rested on the seventh day from all of his work. Go to verse 3. The Bible says, and God blessed the seventh day. Go to verse 4. Watch this. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created and, and in the day that the Lord, God, made the earth and the heavens. Go to verse 5. And every plant of the field before it was on the earth and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord had not caused it to rain upon the earth yet. And there was not a man to till the ground. Wait a minute. We found man, but he couldn't have been on the ground if the Bible says he had not made it to the ground yet. But he was pre marked Y'all gonna get it later. He was pre marked and post dated how he was pre marked He was pre marked to be a man in God's image. But he was post-dated to have power and dominion over all the earth. Y'all gonna catch that later. I said he was pre marked Watch this. To have the image of God, but post-dated to have power and dominion. Touch your name and say, I got power, I got power, I got power. So watch what he does. Because we see in verse 1, chapter 1, that the, 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 the animals were made first. And I kept wondering, I said, okay, so why are you telling Adam to name the animals if the animals were made or created first? Because in chapter 2, go to verse 6, the Bible says, but there went up a mist from the earth and, the, and it watered the whole face of the ground of the earth. Watch this. Watch this. Go ahead, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Watch this. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of what? Life. And man became now a living soul. Yeah. He don't even know that he's been pre marked in post dated. Yeah. Y'all gonna guess that later. Keep the only reason why people fall into temptation and they get defeated is because they don't know that they've been pre 
disciple. And the Lord God planted the garden eastward and went. Keep going. Watch this. And look what happens. And out of the ground made the Lord to grow every tree. Okay, we know that much. Go to verse 10. Watch this, y'all. And the river. Keep going. Verse 11. The next, keep going. Verse 12. Keep going. Verse 13. Verse 14. Verse 15. Keep going. Verse 16. Watch this. The Lord God gave him every tree of the garden. Keep going. Verse 13. Keep going. Verse 18. Verse 18. Verse 19. Okay. All right. Watch this. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every piece of the field and every fowl of the air. I just want to prove something to you. This lets you know that Adam, watch this, was not in existence in chapter 1. His spirit man was, yeah, right, right. but his flesh man was yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Because in chapter 1, he created the animals before he created the man. Do y'all remember that? You caught that, right? Yeah. But in chapter 2, he forms the man with that word. He pressed the man. He pressed man. He formed him. And then he formed the beast after him. That's a true story. That the first shall be last. Y'all gonna catch that later. And the last shall be first. I don't know where you at in line, but I got news for you. Don't get discouraged because the first is getting better to be last. And the last, y'all can't even shout on that. And the last is getting ready to become first because. So watch this. So, so look what he does. Pastor, I'm almost finished. Look what he does. It's the, he literally pre mocked man. Literally said, let him make man our own image. He's going to be mocked with our image. Y'all know, know, know what image means, right? It means that when you look at me, I look like him. Y'all look at the thing. See, 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 he mocked him. When I look at him, I know that's his father. Y'all know him. When you look at Cameron, you know I'm his daddy because I mocked him. And that's why I keep telling you stop getting discouraged when hell breaks loose in your life because the enemy only comes after you because of who you look like. Oh, God. I know what you're saying. But, Pastor, I don't look like what I've been through. Baby, if you got anything about suffering written on you, then you look just like my Jesus who suffered not too long ago. Y'all not hearing me here. But the only thing that makes the enemy bother you was your suffering because he wants to make sure that you don't do like Jesus did. But he should have known that you've been post. You've been pre-marked and post -dated. I've been pre-marked, blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when I come and blessed when I go. I've been post -dated to have power and dominion. And Let me give you first right quick because I'm going to preach it. He says, go back to Jeremiah chapter 5. He says something. I just wanted to break these words down for you because we're a word church. Amen. He did a couple of things. He said, I formed the, I knew. He got his, because he, he wants you to know it was him. He said, I formed you, I knew you, and I ordained you. Nobody what he did. He, he formed. Everybody said it means to press. It meant, baby, that you were pressed. And wait a minute. Y'all ain't ready for this. The word form not only means to press. Watch this. It means to press with purpose. the Bible says that when you are weak, that's when God is strong because God gets the glory out of your weakness because every time you're being pressed, purpose is being poured out of you. Touch your name and say, I'm here and I'm glad I'm here because I'm here. Press for purpose. So not only does he say, I formed thee, but then he says these words. He says, he says, I knew the, the word new in the Hebrew is the word yada. It means to know for certain. Y'all not going to be able to spell these words because I couldn't even pronounce them. It means to be, watch this, it means to know for certain, to be irrefutable, to be indisputable and undeniable, known by God. He's, it means that he's precise in knowing me. 
But the word that stuck out to me, King, is that when I looked at the word new, it said in or undisputable. It means or indisputable. It means that no one can dispute the fact of who God made me. It, it means that nobody can fuck with God about who I am in his sight. That's why I came to tell somebody that you've been wondering, why is it that pastor always smiling? It seems like he can just get out of a situation and not be angry anymore. He just keep on going. The reason why I feel pressed like that is because I know that I'm indisputable about who God said I am. Y'all gonna catch that later. I know that I am his, and whatever God said about me, that settles it. Nothing anybody else say can change his mind about me. So touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, if God say I'm blessed, I'm blessed. If God say I'm healed, I'm healed. And if God say I'm rich, then guess what? Let's go to the bank. Another Royal Production. Can you go ahead and put your hands together? Come on, stand up on your feet. As we get ready to praise God. Come on. Let's do it for this now. Y'all ready? Clap your hands. Hi, I'm Apostle Nathaniel Rainey coming to you right here from Jarvis Tabernacle Worship Center, the place where God is providing for his people. Have they told you? Have you heard? All the miracles and signs and wonders that God is doing here, right here at Jarvis Tabernacle Worship Center Church at 1228 Newsom Road in Mesquite, Texas. Listen, my brother, my sister, do not, you don't have to be in bondage, my brother and my sister. Here, we are seeing the lame walk. We are seeing the deaf here. We're seeing the blinded eyes open. Cancer healed. We are seeing tumors literally disappear because God is still working signs, miracles, and wonders. God is not dead. He's still alive. And listen, I want you to come and get your breakthrough. Come and get your blessing. For God is doing a new thing even in this time and in this season. Listen, God said, I know the thoughts I have towards you. And they are good and not evil to give you an expected end. I don't know what you're expecting, but I can tell you if you can think it, if you can believe it, God can make it come to pass. Listen, don't miss this next service right here at Jabba Tabernacle Worship Center, the place where God is providing for his people. Listen, I want you to always remember these words. Your condition is not your conclusion. Meet me there. Sometimes storms and life may feel cause the enemy knows the purpose of your life is about to be revealed. Watch this. He said, I fall. Everybody say, I fall. And then he said, I knew. Everybody say, I knew. He, he, he knew me. He knew you. He knew you. But I want you to see also, he said this. He said, he said, I not only knew you, I'm sorry I didn't see this one. He said, I sanctified you. The word sanctified, watch this. Just a can The word sanctified in the Hebrew is the word kadash. And it means one thing. It means that he has set you, watch this, apart. Now, I know you've been wondering for a long time. Every time I go on a job, I'm the one that want to hold a prayer meeting. I'm the one that told everybody we should pray in the morning. But it seems like the supervisor don't like me. The manager don't like me. The people who with me, I know I don't curse on a job. I act like a Christian, but nobody likes me. And I'm trying to figure out why is it that nobody likes me? Is it because the world loves its own and you've been set apart? So when you've been set apart, it doesn't matter where you go, you still look like you got on all white and dirty as you are.
So he said, ah. He said, ah, sing it right me. And then he said, ah, dang. The word ordain in the Hebrew is the word midnaw. It means to count. Oh, watch this. I think mean, you better catch this. In. It means, watch this, to count as a number. Y'all, I know that didn't sound deep. That's why I wrote it down. It was too much for him to give me until I couldn't put it in my computer. It means, watch this, to count, watch this, as a number. Go to Numbers, go to Numbers chapter 14. I want to show them something. Boy, this man, man, I thought I shouted on this. Numbers chapter 14. And start about round 20, verse 20. Up on there. I want to show them something. Because he brought me here. Uh, Tati, I, I, I was not my own business. He, he woke me up. This is what he do to me. This is how he comfort me. This is how he pat me on my back and say, boy, come here. Lay down right here. Get on your face. And then when this he start talking like me. Watch this. Y'all got it? The Bible says, and Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephani, which are of them that search it. All right. Okay. And the Lord, that's good right there. And the Lord said, I have pardoned according to thy word. Okay, keep going. Keep going. But as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the weight of the Lord. Touch your neighbor and say, sometimes when they feel heavy, it ain't always the devil. Because wherever the glory is, the weight is. He tells Moses, he says, listen, he says, the earth shall be filled with the glory, the weight of me. The weight of the Lord. Keep going. Watch this. Because all those men which have seen my glory, they seen what I've done. All those men that seen my weight and my miracles, which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, and have tempted me now these ten times. Watch this. And have not hearkened to my voice. Verse 23. Surely they shall not see the land which I swear to the fathers, neither shall any of them that provoke me see it. Go to the next one. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him and had followed me fully, him will I bring into the land where it went. He went, and his seed shall possess it. Keep going. I'm going to show you something. Now the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwelt in the valley. Tomorrow, turn you and get you into the wilderness by the way of the race. Go to the next one. Okay. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, keep going. I'm going to make sure I got this. How long shall I bear with this evil congregation, which murmured, not against you, Moses, but they murmured against me. I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel, which they murmured against who? Me. me. Keep going. Watch this. Say unto them, as truly as I live, said the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Go to the next one. Your carcasses shall fall in the wilderness. Y'all stay with me. I know it seems like I'm leaving. You. Watch this. And all that were numbered of you according to the whole number from 20 years and upwards. Listen to that. Which have murmured against me. Go to the next one. I just won't finish it. Doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, saying only Caleb, the son of Jephthah, and Joshua, the son of Dun. Go back to the next verse, but the, the one before. I want you to see something here. The reason why he brought me here, he said, because I want you to know, Sister Barbara, he said, all of the people had a number. Yeah. Yeah. I just told you, the word ordained means he gave a what? No. No. Catch this lady. Yeah. Yeah. All of the people I had a number. a number. I know it's too much, isn't it? God said they had a whole number. Yeah. Oh. They, they didn't have a half a number. They gave oh. a number. They, he said, listen, that's why Randy, I was telling, he said, I and he said, that's why I told uh, uh, Josh, that's why I told David and Moses, don't number the people because I've already given them a number. Church, touch your name and say, don't talk about me because God didn't already give me my number. You might try to change my number. When you try to change my number, and put a curse on you. Don't change my number because some of you trying to make me a 
baby, you're my baby, you're my baby. Touch your name and say, I'm his baby, I'm his baby. I can go through it because I've been free for. Touch your name and say, baby. Touch your name and say, baby. I've been pre-marked and I've been posted. Pre-marked means that he put his mark on me. Pre-marked means that he put his blood on me. Pre-marked means that he gave me his power. Pre-marked it means that he gave me his gifts. But not only then he pre marked me. Because I know some of you been saying, Pastor, I'm tired of being pre marked. I'm tired of being post dated. I'm ready to see the glory. I'm ready for my check to cash. I came to take it. The reason why I know that we've been post dated because I heard it say that the submarine of this time are not worthy. To be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in the sun. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, because I've been posted, it means that God has wrote a blank check according to me. And what is the I think that shall come to pass. How you know, Randy? But I heard he said, you don't know the thoughts I have to wash. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil. If there anybody here, you know that God has made you a post-dated, a post-dated How you know? Because I heard him say, we've been made in new for night. The Bible says that while Adam was being formed, before he was born, God gave him power and dominion. But I got news for you. Adam, because of his sin, couldn't cast the gym. Covered 
Wow, we just come out of awesome service. Did you hear that? God literally says, you have been pre-marked and post-dated. And look, you've been pre-marked by God because you are blessing. God to have given you power and dominion. But then you've been post-dated because God said literally that there's a blessing upon your life that the enemy can't do nothing about unless your date expires. And right now, I just want to let you know, my brother and sister, wherever you may be, I just want you to understand and know this, that you have already been pre-marked by God. And because you've been pre-marked by God, God said, here you are holding the palm of my hand. The devil in hell cannot pluck him out. You've been designed. You've been predestined to make it to the place where God has for you. God says, listen, I know the thoughts I have towards you. Those thoughts are thoughts of peace and not evil. And God says, listen, wherever you are in your life, the sufferings of this time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us because we've been post-dated. God bless you. Listen, I want you to remember that your condition is not your conclusion. God bless you and have a wonderful day.